how to answer immigration questions at the airport in Canada. In this video, we are going to talk about immigration questions and how to answer them when you arrive at the airport in Canada or anywhere in the world. Stay with me and, as always, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hi, my name is Violeta and I'm a lawyer at Bellagio Law. We help people all around the world to make their Canadian immigration dream come true without having to deal with complex immigration forms and rules. In today's video, I will share with you what are the common questions an immigration officer can ask you when you arrive at the airport. Now, at any arrival airport in Canada, or actually anywhere in the world, there are certain questions that you, you can expect the border uh, police officer is going to ask you to decide whether you should be allowed in the country uh, or not. Some of these questions are common and some are specific, depending on your situation. Uh, maybe you are here because you are permanent resident, so then you, you maybe ask some questions, or maybe you are here because you are a student, you are a visitor, or because you have been sponsored by your relatives, or because you are a worker. Then uh, you may expect different questions. So let's get started and let's discuss what can you expect at the airport in Canada. So you get out of the airplane, you follow the signs for passport control, you got your passport with your visa prepared for control, you are on the line uh, for passport control, and then the border police officer says, next. So now is your turn. First thing they want to see is that you have a valid and unexpired passport or travel document. So the officer will ask you, passport please. So you have to uh, give the officer your passport or travel document. Then maybe the officer will ask you to look into camera so they can take a picture or you may be asked to place your finger on the fingerprint reader so they can take your fingerprints. Second, second the officer will want to know who are you and if there is anything that may prevent you from entering Canada like have you ever been convicted of a criminal offense? Do you suffer from a serious medical condition? Have you ever been refused a temporary resident visa to travel to Canada? Have you ever been removed from Canada or any other country? Number three, what is the purpose of your trip? The purpose of your trip should correlate with the purpose for which your visa was issued. So, if you tell the officer that the purpose um, of your visit to Canada is different from the actual purpose for which the visa was, was issued, this may be a problem. Let's say uh, if you enter Canada as a visitor visa and you tell the officer that you are looking to work or to study, then of course this may be a problem and you may not be admitted to Canada, okay? So, um, although not all persons visiting Canada may have details plans. They should normally have some ideas of what they will be doing. So when the officer asks you what is the purpose of your trip, you can say visiting family or visiting friends or studying or whatever it may be. And depending on your answer, the officer may ask you some follow-up questions. Now, let's discuss about these follow-up questions. So, if you are visiting France or just visiting Canada, the officer may ask you, where are you staying? What is the address? And you need to give them the address, I mean your friend's address or the name of the hotel and the address. So, you should probably have uh, the address written down uh, somewhere. So, uh, I recommend you to have it with you and give it uh, to the officer if you are asked for these details. If you arrive in Canada as a permanent resident or because, because your uh, spouse uh, sponsored you, the officer may ask who is the sponsor and what is the address, where are you going to live, okay? But I assume you, you know the name of your spouse, so it will be easy to answer uh, these questions. Now, 
If the purpose of your trip to Canada is to work here, you may need a, a work permit and then the officer uh, may ask you for the work permit. You need to tell the officer, I have a work permit to work here as a carpenter, as a nurse or whatever you will work in Canada. The officer may ask you who is your employer and uh, the officer also may ask you their contact number and who knows, maybe they will contact your employer. So make sure that you have uh, these details with you as well if you are a worker in Canada. Now, if the purpose of your trip is to study in Canada, the officer may ask you to present the letter of your acceptance. Also, the officer may ask you how, uh, how uh, you will manage to pay your fees, your school fees here, uh, and your accommodation while studying in Canada. You can answer uh, with what is the appropriate answer in your situation. So you can say my parents will pay or uh, who, whoever is the person who's paying for fees and accommodation. Or if um, this is not your situation and nobody's paying, uh, and uh, then you can uh, give the, the officer any reasonable explanation of how um, you will be able to support yourself while studying in Canada. Number four, so uh, the officer may ask you, how long will you be staying in Canada? then you you can just say the, the the length of time say i'm staying here for four weeks then the officer may ask do you have a return ticket now if you are coming to canada as a tourist it will be in your best interest to have a return uh, ticket to your home country or a ticket to a different country uh, so you can show the officer that you have the intention to leave Canada when your time here expires. Number five, the officer will want to understand what ties do you have with Canada? Who invited you here? Is there um, proof of an invitation? Do you have family in Canada? Do you have friends here? If you have family or friends, what is their status here? Are they immigrants? Are they illegal here? What's, what's their story? So the officer may ask you, do you have any family or friends in Canada? And if you say yes, I have a friend who's living, uh, I don't know, in Vancouver, for instance. Then the officer may ask you, are you going to visit your friend in Vancouver? And you should answer yes or no. Number six, then the officer will want to understand what ties do you have with your country of residence? So you may be asked, are you employed? And you should answer yes or no and say what kind of job are you doing, I'm a student, I'm a police officer, I'm a teacher. And then you may be asked for more details like what is your salary, what kind of teacher are you? And then you uh, should uh, give your answer. The officer will, will also be interested uh, to know what family you have in the country of residence. Do you have any property? What is the value of the property? What kind of responsibility and obligations do you have? in the country of residence. Long story short, do you have a reason to go back there? Did you leave anything behind? Number seven, you may be asked, how will you support yourself in Canada? Of course, the amount of money required will depend on, on, on the type and duration of your trip. If you're just visiting uh, Canada, you need to have enough funds to maintain yourself in Canada without um, resorting to illegal employment or social assistance. Or if you don't have the funds, you have to indicate if there is a somebody else willing and able to provide for yourself. Like, let's say you are a parent and you are visiting your children in Canada, you can indicate that the children will provide for you or you are a spouse and you are visiting your spouse, you can indicate that your spouse or, or partner will provide for you. Number eight, will you be able to leave Canada? The officer will want to see, do you have a passport, a travel document, uh, which will admit you back in your country of residence? Or do you have a passport, a travel document, and a visa if required uh, to be admitted in a third country? If you say you are going there, do you have an airplane ticket or do you have money to buy an airplane ticket? Number nine, the officer may ask you, do you intend to work or study in Canada? 
Now, I know this is a silly question, but it's pretty common. So if you are just visiting Canada and you have no plan to work here or study, you should clearly say no. Now, if you say yes, the officer may ask you if you have a valid uh, work or study permit because um, most visitors, uh, people who are not Canadian citizen or permanent residents in Canada, they need uh, to have their work permit or study permit approved before arriving to Canada. So these are the questions that an officer may ask you. Remember, these questions are pretty simple and the answer are, are, should be uh, simple as well. Um, but if you have any potential issues that could cause an officer to prevent you from entering uh, Canada, then uh, click the link below to book a call with us and discuss your unique situation before you arriving in Canada. I hope you found this uh, video helpful and as always, remember life is good and it's getting better. See you in Canada.